Hello you action figure enthusiasts out there, JC here and welcome to a Friday edition of TNI News. Now before we get into today's news, I just wanted to let you know that on Wednesday I posted up an interview with Bill Murphy from Fresh Monkey Fiction. So if you haven't checked that interview out, it is a bit long, it's about an hour long, but there, it's chalked with quite a bit of information in regards to Fresh Monkey Fiction and their various action figure lines. So again, if you haven't checked that out, please do. I will put a direct link to that interview in the video description below. Also, don't forget that we have two contests currently going on this month, the month of July, San Diego Comic-Con month, where we're giving away not one, but two different $200 store credits to Big Bad Toy Store. So links to both of those contests are also in the video description below. Now let's get into the news, and for today, I, I know I didn't get a, a video up on Wednesday with news since I was doing the interview, but um, I'm just going to touch upon some of the highlights for this week. So starting off with Star Wars, we got a surprise new Halloween Black Series 2-pack that went up for pre-order. Now right now as I'm filming this, this 2-pack has currently sold out, but it's been in and out of stock a few different times this week. So I wouldn't be surprised, especially since it is a Halloween set, that it will actually become available again at some later time. But this two-pack includes, again, this is Halloween theme, but uh, a figure of the Inquisitor and the Duros Bounty Hunter. So um, the set, again, looks like it's being offered as an Amazon exclusive. Uh, Hasbro has not yet officially announced this set. It just kind of went up on the, on the uh, Amazon website this week. But again... Um, if you were able to get one, then then cool. If not, uh, you will likely get another chance at it at a later time. Also, while we're on the Star Wars front, the HasLab Cantina Vintage Collection playset, that campaign ended. It was funded with the minimum number of 8,000 needed, and it actually ended up unlocking uh, two of the three stretch goals. So uh, the stretch goal number two uh, got unlocked basically at the last minute. The third stretch goal was not unlocked, but um, if you back that campaign, again, you will get the cantina, and then uh, the figures that were included, the were and the twins, and then you'll get Greedo was the first stretch goal, and the uh, uh, Scorus, or whatever that character's name is, uh, was the second stretch goal. So um, those will all be included with the cantina if you backed it. Now, speaking of HasLabs, uh, Hasbro also released this teaser for the next HasLab, which we know will be G.I. Joe, should be for the classified line. And based on this teaser image, it does, in fact, look like, as many of us suspected, would be the Cobra Rattler. And you, you'll notice uh, at the bottom there the Cobra Rattle, Rattler insignia or, you know, decal uh, with the wings, the Cobra symbol with the wings that was featured on the Cobra Rattler. So that seems to be what Hasbro is, is indicating here. Now, the G.I. Joe panel that will be taking place at San Diego Comic-Con will be taking place on that Thursday, the 25th, at 5 p.m. Pacific time. So it will be late in the day. For those of you on the East Coast, that'll be 8 p.m. Eastern time, again, on that Thursday. Now, actually, just as I was filming this, it was announced by Hasbro that there's going to be a special fan stream for G.I. Joe the morning of San Diego Comic-Con on that Thursday. So it seems pretty clear to me that that will be to announce the HasLab, uh, likely the Rattler, um, and then the panel for Comic-Con will happen later that day. But obviously because the G.I. Joe panel is happening so late in the day, they're going to go on and announce and launch the HasLab in the morning. So that'll be taking place on Thursday, um, 11 a.m. Eastern Time, and that will be streamed for everyone to watch on the internet. Um, we will then likely get to see the Rattler. For those of us attending Comic-Con, we'll get to see some type of production sample or something for the Rattler in person there at Comic-Con. And then again, we'll get additional G.I. Joe reveals and stuff during the San Diego Comic-Con panel later that day. So again, uh, fan stream on, on Thursday morning, 11 a.m., likely announcing the G.I. Joe HasLab, which again, is seems like almost definitely is going to be for a classified Cobra Rattler. 
And then jumping back to Star Wars, also just to let you know that the Star Wars Hasbro panel will be taking place on Friday, the 26th. It will be taking place at 2 p.m. Pacific time. So, um, you know, we should get some reveals. And I should note that I, it's not clear whether Hasbro is going to stream these panels themselves. If not, then we should be streaming them, assuming they allow us to, which in years past they have. As Hasbro is going to stream them themselves, they may not allow others to, to stream it. We'll have to see. But even if, like, for whatever reason there was no streaming, uh, you know, we'll have images and details from what is revealed from those panels as they happen on the various sites. So G.I. Joe will be on TNI. Star Wars will be on Jedi Insider. There will be a Marvel Legend panel as well. And that is also going to be taking place on Friday the 26th. That one is going to take place at 1230 uh, p.m. Pacific time. So 330 Eastern time for that one. Um, and again, we'll have any reveals and stuff from that panel up at Marvelous News um, as soon as it happens. And if, if they allow us to stream it, we will. Um, or again, if they're streaming it themselves, if Hasbro streaming it themselves, then, then we'll let you know about that as well. But again, Marvel Legend reveals. We might get a few teasers on Wednesday for preview night, but I suspect most of the reveals at San Diego Comic-Con will happen on Friday for, for Marvel Legends and, and Star Wars as well. Um, uh, Transformers panel is also going to be taking place on Friday. So Friday, we've got the G.I. Joe panel on, on Thursday, and then uh, the other remaining Hasbro panels will be taking place on Friday. So the Marvel Legends at 12.30 Pacific time, the Star Wars at 2 p.m. Pacific time, and then finally on Friday, the Transformers panel which will take place at 6 p.m. Pacific time. So again, late in the day on that one, 9 p.m. Eastern time. Now there are other various panels from other companies that will be taking place. Uh, we will be seeing uh, uh, some panels from Mattel. There is a WWE panel that will be taking place on Thursday at 11.15 a.m. Again, Pacific time. Uh, when regards to San Diego Comic-Con, whenever I give a time, just you know, know it's specific time. So um, McFarlane is going to have a panel that's going to be on Thursday at 12.30 p.m. Diamond Select Toys is going to have a panel on Thursday. That's 4 p.m. There's going to be a Masters of the Universe panel at 1.30 p.m. Pacific time from Mattel. So we should get some new reveals for Masters of the Universe. Uh, based on the description for that panel, they're going to have the original She-Ra voice actor there as a guest. And they also uh, have uh, the tagline for the Honor of Grayskull. So I don't know if that means that, that the products that they're going to be showing for the rest of 2024 and 2025 is going to be Princess of Power Heavy. Um, but they seem to be kind of teasing that a bit in their panel description. So uh, those are all, uh, you know, G.I. Joe, McFarlane, Diamond Select Toys, Mattel, uh, Masters of the Universe, and Mattel WWE. Those are all Thursday and then again, Friday, uh, we're going to have the Star Wars, the Transformers, the Marvel Legends. And then also there's going to be a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle panel on Friday uh, as well, which I think is going to center mostly around Playmates toys. Uh, the panel itself is called the Toys of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. But in the description, it sounds like it's going to focus mostly, on, I'm assuming, on on playmates though it's possible we might get some NECA or other you know there's a ton of companies these days doing teenage mutant ninja turtle stuff so it's you know possible we might get some details on other companies as well but um again uh those are all taking place on friday now we have not yet they've not yet released the full schedule for saturday but as far as action figures go I, i'm not sure there's a much I, you know i'm not sure what else there would be on on Saturday, so I'm, I'm thinking Saturday is going to be fairly light in regards to action figure uh, panels taking place. There might be a couple, but again, looks like the majority of stuff is going to be taking place on Thursday and Friday. And of course, preview night, there's always reveals and stuff from all the various companies uh, that evening. Now, sticking with Turtles and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Playmates Toys, we got a few more details in regards to those uh, Sketch Turtle black and white figures. I talked about this previously. 
originally it looked like maybe these were going to be sold as a set now it's looking more like uh these are going to be sold individually at least they're going to be packed individually so these are going to be available at the paramount booth at san diego comic-con still no word on whether these will be made available online for those who don't attend comic-con and I don't have any kind of pricing information or anything. And I'm only making an assumption that these are going to be sold individually, not as a group, just because the Im new images that they release show the figures being packaged individually. It's possible they're still going to sell these as a set. I don't know. Um, but again, um, it is looking more like these will be sold individually, just like uh, the regular colored ones you know, available at Target. Those were sold individually. So I'm guessing uh, these white ones will as well. And as I say, no word yet on whether these will be made available in some way online for those who are not attending the convention. Now, Super 7 has also revealed their San Diego Comic-Con exclusives for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And the big surprise, and I do mean big, is they've actually repainted their ultimate party van um, to look like an actual pizza delivery truck or van that they are going to be offering. Uh, no word on price on this, but again, it is a repaint of the party van to look like Mikey's uh, pizza delivery truck. And there is going to be also a Mikey, uh, a pizza chef Mikey figure that is offered an ultimate Mikey figure that's going to be sold separately. And these will be offered at Comic-Con. A limited supply is said to be made available on the Super 7 website on Monday the 29th. I don't have a specific time, but probably around noonish. But again, uh, you know, that party van is being repainted and re-offered as a Comic-Con exclusive. Now, other uh, Turtle-related Comic-Con exclusives besides the van and the Michelangelo figure is we're getting a glow-in-the-dark scumbug figure. So that's going to be offered. We're getting some reaction figures uh, with that Mikey's Pizza theme to the packaging. Uh, so that is going to be coming. And um, so those are your Turtle exclusives coming to uh, from Super 7 for San Diego Comic-Con. And then also for you Dungeons and Dragons fans, uh, we've got uh, we we finally got the official announcement for that Sheila the Thief translucent figure. We'd seen that one leak out uh, a while back. They're also doing an Ultimate Vecna figure and some reaction figures from Dungeons and Dragons. And then probably again, big surprise is we're getting an Ultimate Vinyl uh, scene of Dragon Kind uh, Ultimate Vinyl uh, version of the dragon so multi-head dragon so this is going to stand about 15.6 inches tall it's said to be about 19.6 inches wide so no word on pricing on this one but and you know knowing super seven it's probably not going to be cheap but if you're into dungeons and dragons and the animated series and all that this is something that you might want to check out and again this should be available after you know the monday after comic con um, on the Super 7 website, at least a, a limited number of them. Okay, so now let's jump into some McFarland toy news. So first of all, going up for pre-order today were those new uh, DC Multiverse Collector Edition figures, the Clock King, the Ragman, and the Detective Comics Red Hood figure. I told you about these on Monday. So they are available for pre-order on Amazon and the McFarland Store website. As of right now, those are the only two places that have listed these figures. They did not go up at Big Bad Toy Store or Entertainment Earth. I've reached out to try and get clarification to see if those places will carry them at some point. But right now, Amazon and the McFarland Store are the only places that have listed them for pre-order. And I have not checked to see, you know, they went up at noon today. And I've not checked to see if they've sold out, if any of them have sold out. But as I say... Uh, Right now, those are the only two places that are carrying them. And if I hear anything more, like if other places are going to carry them, I'll be sure to let you know. And, you know, they're, they are not listed as gold label figures. When they were initially announced, they weren't said to be only released at like Amazon. So, it, again, it's kind of unclear why other places didn't put these up. But as I said, when I get any more specific details, I'll be sure to let you know. One other thing I wanted to clarify, I, I, I think I misspoke when I talked about these previously. There is a fourth collector edition figure, the Agent Liberty figure. I believe I had indicated that that was going to be released with these three figures. That was incorrect. Um, that is actually going to be released. That is going to be a McFarland store exclusive, and it will be released during San Diego Comic-Con. So um, 
not technically a Comic Con exclusive because it will be available online at the McFarland store, but it will go up during San Diego Comic Con. Now, I also just want to clarify, uh, just to kind of recap what we know about McFarland San Diego Comic-Con exclusives. So the only two that are actually what I would call real Comic-Con exclusives, only available at the show, will be that DC Superpowers 3-pack with the Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, and the black and white. Also that, that Superman statue figure... Those are said both to basically only be sold at Comic-Con and those will be sold at the DC Comic booth. Now, there is also going to be the Agent Liberty, which will go up during Comic-Con but be available on the McFarland store. The Old Man Bruce Wayne uh, reissue from DC Collectibles from Batman Beyond. That will also go up on the McFarland store during San Diego Comic-Con. But again, I wouldn't really call that an actual Comic-Con exclusive. And then we've seen hitting overseas, you know, that Bruce Wayne was originally released as a two-pack with a Batman Beyond figure from DC Collectibles back in 2017. So Bruce Wayne is getting a single release. The Batman Beyond figure from that two-pack is also getting a single release. I'm going to assume that will go up the same time as the Bruce Wayne on the McFarland store. It is a gold label figure. But that since that figure has not yet been officially announced, I, I can't say that for 100% certainty. But again, um, the, the Batman Beyond from that two-pack is going to be released. We've seen it hitting overseas already. And my guess is that will go up with the Bruce Wayne at the same time as the Bruce Wayne on the McFarland store during San Diego Comic-Con. One other quick note on the McFarland front, uh, for those of you who collect the Warhammer 40K stuff, I talked about these on Monday. These have gone up, for, they went up for pre-order earlier this week, the two new figures. So if you want to get these, these are available at places like Big Bad Toy Store, Entertainment Earth. They're on Amazon as well. Now just announced as I'm filming this from NECA Toys, we've got several new Beetlejuice type figures coming. These are available for pre-order now at places like Big Bad Toy Store and Entertainment Earth. So we've got a Toonie Terra Beetlejuice figure. We've got a head knocker version of Beetlejuice. And then not one, but two 7-inch scale Beetlejuice figures. So for the 7-inch figures, we've got the Red Tuxedo Beetlejuice. And then also they're doing a Beetlejuice in the black and white striped uh, outfit as well. So uh, again, all of those went up for pre-order as I'm filming this and are available at places like Big Bad Toy Store and Entertainment Earth. All right, let's finish off with some Marvel Legend news. So first of all, we got a new trailer today, a teaser trailer for the new Captain America Brave New World movie, which uh, has confirmed 100% that the Red Hulk will be in the movie. We're assuming that it will be Harrison Ford's General Ross that becomes the Red Hulk. They don't actually say that in the trailer, but that's the general assumption since that's who the Red Hulk was in the comic books. Uh, we knew the Red Hulk was basically coming because McDonald's decided to put their Happy Meal toys for this movie up two months ago, which had the Red Hulk, but it is now officially confirmed in the trailer. So the movie opens in theaters February 14th. The reason why the McDonald's stuff went up so early is because the movie was originally going to be coming out this year, but then got delayed. So, uh, but McDonald's was like, you know, we're going forward with our Happy Meal promotion as, as scheduled. So... That's why those went out so early. But again, we got the trailer, we got the poster, and we got the confirmation of the Red Hulk, which I'm sure will be an upcoming Marvel Legend figure done by Hasbro, maybe a Build-A-Figure for the Wave for this movie, uh, which may be even something that we will see during San Diego Comic-Con. Now, I told you about uh, the panel for the Marvel Legends, which will be taking place on Friday, that Friday of Comic-Con. Um... And, of course, we already knew about the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive that, that will be going, you know, available at the con for people actually attending. There will be a limited supply of, of the Death's Head, the original Death's Head figure, which, again, is the Comic-Con exclusive that will be made available on Hasbro Pulse sometime after the show. Walmart Collector Con, uh, which should be uh, taking place that same weekend as Comic-Con on that Thursday and Friday, so the 25th and the 26th. So um, we are going to be getting a preview of everything that's going up during Walmart Collector Con on July 18th. So we'll have those previews with links on the websites. 
But uh, Walmart yesterday teased the two Marvel Legend figures that should be going up during that event, which is the Marvel 85th uh, anniversary retro carded Venom figure, and then also that retro carded uh, Shi'ar Professor X figure. So both of those should be going up uh, during Walmart Collector Con, which again will be taking place July 25th and the 26th. McFarlane Toys has shown off the official images for the first wave for the rest of the first wave of their posed uh, Marvel statues, the 110 scale Marvel statues. So we had already seen the Spider-Man from issue 301 and the Captain America figure, but now we're getting a look at the Wolverine figure that is based on uh, X-Men number one. And we already know, based on listings from overseas distributors, uh, there will be a Magneto figure uh, released in this line from X-Men number one. I'm thinking that these uh, X-Men number one figures, you know, they'll end up doing all the figures from that gatefold cover and they will end up connecting together so you can recreate that. I don't know that 100%, but I believe that's probably what they're going to be doing. Now, I don't know with this Wolverine figure, what's up with the scales on the outfit, uh, that really did not come out looking good. I'm not even sure what they were trying, you know, what that was supposed to be representing. You know, the hair on his arms actually looks really good, but those scales on throughout the outfit, you know, again, I, that's not something that was featured in the original Jim Lee art, and I don't know what that's supposed to be representing. We also got a look at the new classic Iron Man figure. So a uh, very metallic looking. All of these were announced during WonderCon, so we'd gotten our first glimpses of these during WonderCon. We've got the Rob Leefield uh, New Mutants 98 Deadpool figure. So um, that one is coming. These are all part of the first wave, along with the first two that we had seen, the Captain America and the Spider-Man. And we've got another Spider-Man uh, coming uh, with uh, based on Spider-Man number six uh, coming in this line as well. So all of these, are again, are part of wave one, and all of these should be going up for pre-order on July 18th. And then the final thing I have for you today going up for pre-order this week, I, I believe I talked about this on Monday, was that Marvel Legend 2-pack with uh, the early version of Rogue and Destiny from the Brotherhood. So um, this uh, the cost of this one ended up being $49.99. Very basic set with very few accessories. But, you know, if you want to round out your Brotherhood, that Destiny figure is probably one that you're going to want to add to your collection. If you're just a big Rogue fan, um, you might want that one as well. I know a lot of people were hoping it was going to have an alternate head. It does not. But again, that set went up on Amazon. It is an Amazon exclusive. Um, it is still available as I'm filming this. And as I said, the cost of it is $49.99. Now, I'm guessing there will be some type of Marvel Legend pre-order next week. We've been getting Marvel Legend pre-orders once a week for some time now. We know the following week after that will be the Walmart Collector Con stuff. So again, I wouldn't be surprised if there is some type of Marvel Legend pre-order next week. There's been no announcement as of yet. That will probably come sometime this weekend or maybe on Monday. But, but I am guessing there will be another Marvel Legend pre-order next week. And when I get more details on that, I'll be sure to let you guys know. Okay, so that's all I have for you guys today. But of course, as always, I'd love to hear your thoughts on everything I talked about down in the comments section below. Like this video if you're so inclined. If you're new to the channel, please think about subscribing. And of course, hit that bell notification so you're alerted every time I upload a new video. Have a great weekend. Stay safe out there. And until next time, I'll catch you later. Thanks for watching today's video. Now, if you're new to the channel, please think about hitting that subscribe button. Also, hit the bell notification so you're alerted every time I upload a new video. For all the latest action figure news, be sure to head over to ToyNewsEye.com, MarvelousNews.com, JediInsider.com, and TFormers.com. And remember, action figures are great! <laughs>